Hey everyone, it's Jennifer. I'm here with a fairly large um, Dollar Tree haul for you. Um, a lot of food stuff, which I was really excited about. And I'm actually fixing to go to another Dollar Tree. Um, I had gone to one that's about 20 minutes from me, which I've said before, and every nothing's close to me. I live out on a dirt road in the country. Um, so the closest Dollar Tree is 20 minutes away, which is the one that I went to um, for this haul. And then I went to the grocery store there. Well, it's a real small town, small town grocery store. Well, normally this grocery store has really, really great deals. Um, but for the stuff I needed, it just wasn't, I needed a lot of produce and the produce just wasn't real great looking and even price wise, it just wasn't, you know, so, um, I talked to my husband he said, come on home. He said, go to Kroger, which Kroger is about 30 minutes another direction from me. Well, I decided that is the probably the best option as far as our food because we are starting back um, real strict on our low carb diet. We kind of fell off of it a little bit. Like we stayed on it, but we were a lot looser than we normally would be on it. And so, um, and there was just sometimes when we just flat out didn't even follow it at all. You know, just over the holidays, we traveled a lot, a lot over the holidays. And um, so, we decided to um, start back on it real strict, and so that's what a lot of this stuff falls into. So anyways, I'm going back to Kroger. There's another Dollar Tree there, so I'm going to go there and see if I can pick up a few things that I missed at this one. Anyway, sorry for that super long introduction, but I'm going to jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to share with you are these containers. Some of them are the Betty Crocker, some of them are the Rubbermaid. But I got two sets of these Easy Seal storage containers. They're 3.79 cups. They are the kind of rectangular ones. Um, what I did for us, what, our, what I'm doing for us, is I have a big giant calendar that goes on our fridge. And I meal planned for the entire month. And then I'm going to do something new that... Um, well, I've done it in little, like, bits before, but not this big. But I'm meal prepping for me and my husband for the week for our breakfast and lunch. Dinner's not as big of a deal, but our breakfast and lunch. And so that's why I picked up several of these containers. I got these ones. Like, this week we're having um, breakfast casserole three days and low-carb pancakes and sausage two days. So these will work definitely for, um, I'm thinking, especially the pancakes and stuff. So I got those. Um, I got three of these take-alongs, um, which are the Rubbermaid ones, and these are 2.9 cups in the square. Um, these are going to be probably for our breakfast casserole, so I got three of those. Um, and then I also grabbed these uh, bonus ones with the four-pack. These are great for like little sides or extras that maybe can't go in the main container. So I had hoped to find some more of the divided ones, but this is a small Dollar Tree, small town, so they really didn't have those. But I did get these. So I'm going to check out that other Dollar Tree and see if I can come up with some more containers. Um, just because, like I need some for salad, and the two that they had to choose from, one was extremely large and would have just taken up way too much room in our refrigerator for all those salads I would need to make. And... The second one was too small. I just wouldn't have fit everything I needed. So, on to that. Alright, so in the frozen section, I grabbed four things of fish. I grabbed two of the tilapia, two of the flounder. So, um, for our lunch this week, three days we are having cob salad. Two days we are having fish and veggies. So, these are great because for a dollar, like, this is an entire serving. And it's zero carbs. So, one day we'll do tilapia, one day we'll do flounder. They used to have scallops, and I loved their scallops, and I have not seen them in forever. I wish they would bring them back. Anyway, um, I, we are having stir-fry one day, so I grabbed one bag of the stir-fry vegetable, or stir-fry blend, excuse me, and one of the winter blend, which is the Calderon broccoli, or, okay, two stir-fry fry blend, one of the winter blend, and that's what we use in our stir-fry. And these are big bags. For my daughter, she absolutely loves frozen fruit. So I grabbed her 
a Jennifer's Garden Berry Banana Blend Sun Ripened Quick Frozen Smoothie Recipe on the back. So this comes with strawberries, bananas, and blueberries. Um, yeah, and she loves this stuff. And she'll just grab the bags and eat the fruit straight out of the freezer. Like, that's just one of her favorite snacks. I grabbed her the TJ Farms Sliced Peaches. Uh, I actually grabbed a two of those because I wanted, I was hoping that one of the favorites was strawberry and I didn't have any just strawberries, so I grabbed those. And then I went ahead and grabbed her a thing of the Winding River Farms Delicious Blueberries. So, got those. Um, I was excited, or I am excited to try these. These are the ba Banquet Brown and Serve four original sausage patties. Um, so it's two servings per container. And they are one carb, or actually less than one carb, but I would say one because it's less than one gram of fiber. But anyways, um, so these will be perfect for our pancakes and sausage because, you know, one of these is will work one day for each of us. So I grabbed two for our pancakes and sausage this week. Then I was really excited to find these Farmer John Classic Pork Links. You get eight of them. And if I remember when I used to get these in the grocery store, they were like two, three bucks. I haven't seen them forever though. But these are only one carb for, I would say about four links. It says two ounces and it says servings per container 2.6, but we would probably just divide it and share it. So I grabbed four of these and they're dated February 7th, which is only about a month away or is it exactly a month today? Something like that. But we will eat these. So I grabbed four of those. I'm really excited for those. Now this is something I don't think I've ever tried. These are the Circle A Ranch Homestyle Meatballs. It's so funny because they make this big old bag, but it really only fills like half the bag. But it's 6.24 ounces. Um, let's see, Homestyle Meatballs made with chicken and beef. The heating directions, it comes with microwave and conventional oven. And they are three carbs for six meatballs. So, let's see, a serving size is six meatballs, serving per container two, two. So there should be about 12 meatballs in here. So, I'm gonna try these out because three carbs is not bad at all. And I thought these would make like a good addition here and there for um, us for like our lunches or something. So, I'm gonna try these, I'm excited for that. I think, oh no. I grab these for my daughter. These are the mini pretzels. Normally, okay, I grab the bags that have the little snack bags in them. But like I was looking at it today, and this is 12 ounces, and the little snack bags are only like it's like four ounces total, and they're just such tiny bags. And she likes those to go with the gif to go in her lunch. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get these and not be lazy and put them in a bag for her to have. So I grabbed two of the gif and one of the pretzels. Then I grabbed her these dippers with the cheese and pretzels. Um, we get these every once in a while. You yeah, know, they last a pretty long while though. And then for me and my husband both, we like Splenda in our coffee. So I grabbed two of these Sweet Mate 50 packs. We both agree it tastes exactly like Splenda. Oh. I'm sorry, I know I'm rushing and like shoving things in front of the camera. I'm just, I gotta get the cold stuff put up. I'm gonna eat some lunch. I actually think I'm gonna try these for lunch. Um, and then head back out to Kroger. Um, yeah, and check out what the Dollar Tree there has too. Um, and hopefully if I like these and they have some at that Dollar Tree, I'll grab them. All right, I grabbed two boxes of the Color Easy Permanent Cream Hair Color. Um, it does a fairly good job. It's not my absolute favorite hair color, but it does a pretty good job, and I'm kind of in that desperate mode right now. Um, really, like, the way, it's weird. When my hair's down, you really can't see a whole lot of gray, but when I kind of pull it up and, or pin it on the sides, you, you can see a lot of gray. And I'm fixing to go back to work next week, and I'll have my hair pulled up, and I just, I don't like the way that looks. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed two boxes. One box may be enough, but they are rather small, so I grabbed two. You know, just in case. I'd rather spend that extra dollar and have, make sure I have enough. I bought a box of Puffs Basic. My daughter has been sick this week, and she has gone through our big box of tissues. So I grabbed these 
we have. I grabbed her two packs of these to take to school when she goes. She's just basically had a cold, but a lot of, like, just coughing, runny nose, sneezing, that kind of stuff. So I grabbed her these because these she likes to have these in her backpack. So if she ha does sneeze or does have to blow her nose, you know, she's not having to get up and down in class. And so I grabbed her two packs of those. I grabbed her this little pack of the Ludens. She has a big pack at home, but I thought this was a good size for her to take to school. I grabbed toothbrushes so that once she's, oh, well, she says she's feeling better, you know, today. So hopefully it's getting out of her system and, you know, her head's clearing out and all that. But I grabbed these to replace all her toothbrushes, you know. It's a good thing to do when someone's been sick. Uh, we need some toothpaste. I do like this Crest 3D wipe, so I grabbed that. Um, I grabbed this for her to try, this natural inhaler. Uh, my husband uses nasal spray, and she hates nasal spray. She would rather be scuffy than use it. So I grabbed her this to try and see. It's a natural blend of essential oils with refreshing vapors. I'm hoping it'll be better than the nasal spray. It has um, menthol, peppermint oil, wintergreen oil, Kajaput oil and eucalyptus oil. So, oh, okay, here, only effective for a minimum of three months after first use. So that's good to you know. Um, but I thought, you know, she could try that. And that, too, she could carry with her if she needed to. Um, and I did get her this thing of Blistex because her poor little lips are chapped from using the tissue and all that. And then I got this for my husband. Sleek smooth your style with me. He has very thin hair, um, and I, he wanted a brush that had, like, the boar bristles. I, I was surprised to find this at Dollar Tree, um, because this is actually, like, wood, and it says it's real boar bristles versus, like, the plasticky, you know. So, um, yeah, let's get him out. And then I found one book, Assignment to Hell, Timothy M. Gay, a book every modern journalist and citizen should read. Okay. The War Against Nazi Germany with correspondents Walter Cron Cronkite, Andy Rooney, A.J. Libling, Homer Bigart, and Hal Boyle. Um, I actually got this for my daughter. I don't know if she's going to like it. She's 11 years old, but she is fascinated with... Um, like Anne Frank, all that kind of stuff. She reads every book she can on it. So I thought this might be an interesting perspective for her to read. Um, originally $16. So for a dollar, it's definitely worth a try. So, um, Simon to Hell tells a powerful and poignant story of the war against Hitler through the eyes of five intrepid reporters. So she might, she might like this. I don't know. If not, then... That's okay. But anyways, that is my Dollar Tree haul. So I'm fixing to eat some lunch now. And then I'm going to head out and go to another Dollar Tree in Kroger. So I hope you have a great day. Bye.